YouTube, YouTube, what's up YouTube, happy Veterans Day to all my veterans out there. For those of you who don't know, I myself am a veteran. Not only am I a veteran, I'm a disabled veteran. How you doing guys out there? I hope you guys are doing great, 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 great. And I hope this video can reach other veterans out there. And you could learn some ways to like, you know, make some extra funds and stuff. And there's many reasons why one might get involved into the stock market. My reasoning is it's a hobby for me. Like, honestly, it's a hobby. It's something I learned and, and I got really intrigued in it because I, and I just learned it. It's a long story. I can't break it down because I get really excited when I think about it, right? Uh, I learned how to trade, but then I, I stopped doing it. You know, jumping in and out of it. I never took it, like, really, really serious. I just, like, played around. Always, like, played around with it. Um, then I had the funds. You know, you guys know the life story. But as you can see by my most recent videos, I'm currently back, you know, I'm back into it. You know, it's, like, therapeutic for me in a way. But listen, uh, right now, market value, 1417. Open PLL, 827. See this percentage going down, right? Okay. Uh, net account value, 1437. We almost at our goal that I have, which is uh, 1500. I want to see 1500. And then we're going to aim for 2000. Okay. So let's go over the account. Um, this video, we're going to dollar cost average. We're going to dollar cost average. Dollar cost average. Okay. Dollar cost average is my strategy that I use, not only my strategy, but strategy that many people use to, uh, it's just a great thing to do. Uh, I have to do a whole separate video on the breakdown of dollar cost averaging, right? But in a nutshell, dollar cost averaging helps you uh, get out of the red. Like I'm in the red, right? So I dollar cost average on those positions. And basically what that means is you just add to those positions, right? So the strategy that I use, right, I just go off for the setup that's already here, okay? So these are my positions. I have uh, 11 positions. And for the day, this is what's happening today with these positions, okay? My highest position that went the highest today is here, as you can see. It's Cooney, all right? And then we have all the in-between ones, all right? Then the lowest position that it went the lowest is uh, my PSEC position, which is down right now 4.47%. So what I like to do when it comes to dollar cost averaging, I would hit those, um, I'm going to hit this position, okay? I'm going to hit it with some ammo, some food, okay? This position, although it is down, so you might be like, but why are you still adding to it and it's down? I'm holding this position long term and I'm building up the shares because it pays uh, a dividend. I like, I like the dividend it pays. It's steady, six cents dividend. It's not a lot, no, but it is a cash flow, okay? So, and then I have, I get emotionally attached to my positions. That's just the way I am. I get emotionally attached to them, okay? You can see the SDL. SDO took a dip like a year or two ago. Yes, I've been holding this for a long time. But I'm also going to build up the shares, dollar cost average on the position. All right, every time it's in the red, never in the green. Okay, so let's go ahead and dollar cost on this position. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to buy. And I don't go crazy. Not that I could go crazy if I wanted to go crazy. <laughs> So you can buy, you could do fractional shares. Matter of fact, how much is, let me just gonna buy, we're just gonna buy, uh, yeah, we're just gonna buy one share. It's under $5, that's even better, because I was gonna only put five. All right, so now we just picked up extra share, just like that, you know, extra share. And every time we do this, our dividend increases. That's, that's another thing I like, okay? Dividend increases. And then I'm going to hit um, S&DL as well. 
that's when Dio spikes up and it spikes down, all right? It's, it's a spiker. <laughs> that's when Dio have you thinking it's about to shoot to the moon, but I know the position, so. That's when Dio is just acquiring so much stuff right now. I'm going to really hold this position. Let me look at the daily real quick. Hold on. Nice things going on as you can see. Alright. It's gonna get that we're gonna get that push. That push gonna come one day. One day. <laughs> so for right now, I'm just gonna pick up a couple more shares, probably five. So let's just go ahead and I do that. And later on in the week, I'm gonna add some more funds. Uh, I don't care if it's market. Still on the my uh let's see do 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 let's go ahead and pick up I am just gonna do share five right if we do that we'll do five let's just do it do So that's the uh, dollar cost average process of this portfolio. Now we have five dollars left. And let's see if we got any dividends coming up. See the growth? Attacking it. And we got some dividends coming up. Not a lot, but it is some cash flow. Which position is that? Oh, the PSEC. All right, dollar forty-seven. This is my new. I like this one because this is my new uh weekly paying dividend. So I'll be getting forty-eight cents for that. I'm gonna be getting that every week. When I we it'll fluctuate, but it's a weekly. I'm gonna build that. I'm gonna build that one crazy. Get it to like ten dollars. But anyways, just remember this number, okay? So you can see how this process works. I'm attacking this. All right, I'm gonna attack it. Attack, attack like a war. Okay, I'm gonna attack it. Get that. You wanna get that green? I right, told you guys later. Take care of yourselves. Go have fun. All my vets, go out there. Get some of that free food. We deserve it. America. All my vets, go eat. Go eat. Go eat, vets.